Lokomotiv FC returned to the pitch for the first time since March 7th on Saturday night, netting a 1-0 win over Rio Grande Valley FC. Now, the game was played without fans amidst an ever-worsening COVID-19 pandemic. And while there were big moments during the match, the biggest one of the night came prior to kickoff when every player and coach on both sides took a knee to unite against racism. Across the globe, soccer players have been some of the most vocal athletes standing up against racism in the wake of George Floyd's death at the hands of police on May 25th. Everyone's coming together to, 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 to do that in the world of soccer, so I think, that's, I think that's a brilliant thing. The movement took center stage Saturday night in El Paso. Every single player and coach for both Locomotive FC and Rio Grande Valley FC took a knee in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, first for a 15-second moment of silence and then for the national anthem. The coaching staff, the players, the, um, our higher-ups, how we, you know, all came together and decided that it's something that we wanted to do. You know, we were all in unison with that, and I think that speaks um, volume about the club. That unity is a major point of the culture fostered by Los Locos in their short tenure in the Sun City. It's how we play. We run forward together, we run back together. If one person on our team feels anything, then we all feel it. So I thought it was a great sign of, of unity in the team. Soccer is, of course, known as the world's game. It's easily the most popular sport on planet Earth. Locomotive FC exemplifies the globalization of football perfectly. 14 different countries are represented on El Paso's roster. The solidarity shown on Saturday night is in part because of the team's diversity. We can be very empathetic um, coming from different backgrounds about the situation that's going on now. And seeing as on a normal basis we come together anyway with this particular cause, I think that was all the more reason. It was like, do you know what, guys? Like, we understand, you know, we want to support, we want to be together, we want to be united. Jermaine Forda says that while positive steps like Saturday's stand on the pitch are being made, there's still a long ways to go in the fight against racism. There's still things that need to be done, um, you know, right from the top to the bottom. But I think um, the fact that people are talking about it and people are actually taking a stance against it, I think that definitely shows improvement. Every locomotive player also sported a Black Lives Matter armband during the match. Jermaine Forder told KTSM that the club plans to continue what it started on Saturday throughout the season. They have a unique platform at the moment, and they plan to use it. El Paso will host New Mexico United Wednesday, 7 p.m. at Southwest University Park.